If you spend any amount of time online in the game development space, you will inevitably stumble upon the classic indie dev debate, Unity or Unreal. Now, I've been making games for about seven years, and so I'd like to offer my perspective on this because I like to think that I've learned a thing or two in my time. Welcome guys, I'm Brandon. My wife, Nikki, and I make videos on all things game dev. I hope you enjoy the video. I do want to take a quick second to recognize Godot. I'm probably not saying that right. As well as all the other engines out there that indies can freely use to make their games. Developers are literally spoiled for choice these days. And all of these engines have their merits, but as I said, the time-honored debate is between Unity and Unreal, so I'm going to keep my focus on those two for this video. Although Godot in particular does seem to be rising in popularity pretty quickly. Now, not too long ago, the choice used to be more clear-cut. It used to be use Unity if you were a programmer because Unity uses the C-sharp programming language, which is both powerful and pretty simple to use as far as programming languages go. And you'd go with Unreal if you were an artist because Unreal has a visual scripting solution built in so you didn't actually have to program anything and you'd be able to make an entire game without writing a single line of code. But even this is not so clear-cut anymore. Unreal has been improving their C++ solution, and Unity now has native visual scripting built right into the engine as well. So we have reached a point in this industry where you do not need to know how to program to make games anymore. Now, not too long ago, if you were using Unity, you had to know the HLSL programming language if you wanted to make shaders. But Unreal had this awesome node-based system called their Material Editor. But Unity now has Shader Graph, which is really robust, and pretty easy to learn. And again, this is just another form of visual scripting. My point is there's no clear distinction anymore. Pretty much anyone at any experience level can jump into either engine. And no matter which one you pick, you're gonna be fine. Both of them offer a wealth of free assets and tools to help get you started. And both engines are continuing to push massive improvements that make it easier and easier and easier to make beautiful games. Unity's entity component system is finally reaching a level of stability now that it's released its 1.0 version. It took years, but it's here. And this will drastically improve performance on your game if you know how to use it. Unreal released Nanite, which lets you use really, really high poly count models in your game, as well as Lumen, which is a real-time lighting solution with no more light map baking. And I guess Unity got tired of being called inferior in terms of its graphical capabilities because a couple of years ago, they released the visual effect graph. So now you can simulate millions of particles on the GPU and the list goes on for both engines. The point is because these two engines are in direct competition against each other, you can be pretty confident that when one release releases some brand new technology, the other one's not going to be too far behind with their own solution to that as well. And with new players in town like Godot, who is rising quickly in popularity, this trend is only going to continue faster. So it's not immediately clear what engine you should use based on your skill sets anymore. Now it just seems to be more a matter of preference. But what about technical capabilities? Surely one engine has to be better than the other one, right? That's what all these debates online are about in the first place. Which one is better? Or which one has better graphical capabilities? Some Unity developers developers will hear, oh, you should move your game over to the Unreal Engine so that it'll look better. And I don't necessarily agree that just moving a project over to the Unreal Engine is just automatically going to make it look better. Unreal has some post-processing effects and things like that turned on by default when you create a new project. And in Unity, you have to manually turn on all your post-processing effects in your scene. So it takes a little bit more work with Unity. But the point is, beautiful games have been made with both engines, with various art styles, world sizes, and all that stuff. They have both proven themselves period. They are both very competent and capable tools, and they are both continuing to improve and expand. I think at times it can be tempting to think that one engine might just have an edge over the other because of all the chatter online, and not even just amongst developers, but sometimes among gamers themselves. There seems to be a certain judgment of games sometimes, even before they're played, based on which engine the game was made in, which I find so strange. That's like pre-judging a song from your favorite artist based on their brand of microphone or guitar that they're using. And this perception of quality based on the engine that the game was made in happens for a whole bunch of reasons. I actually made a whole separate video talking about why so many <laughs> games are made in the Unity game engine. Go check that out if you want to hear my thoughts on that. So both engines have merit. So why won't I use Unreal? I can't predict the future, but as of right now, I have no plans on changing engines. Why not? And the answer is very simple. I've been making games for seven years now, and I've been making games for seven years using Unity. That is my tool of choice for this craft. And over the course of all of these years, I've developed a sort of mastery over Unity. And I don't mean to say that I'm an expert. I'm not even close to an expert. I just mean that I've become so familiar with Unity that I have developed a certain proficiency and a certain level of efficiency in this engine. My choice in which engine I use, for me, all boils down to I have goals for the future. I have game ideas that I want to manifest into reality and release them on Steam. And bouncing from engine to engine, toying, tinkering, experimenting, just endlessly trying different things, is just not the most efficient 
efficient way for me to hit my personal goals right now. What's right for you depends on you and your goals. I don't want to be good in many game engines. I want to be the master of one. I don't use Unity because it's better. I don't even care which engine is better anymore. Whatever better even means for an engine. I use it because I know how to make what I want to make using this engine. And bouncing over to a new engine every time a shiny new feature comes out can honestly be very tempting, but that will ultimately slow me down, so I resist that temptation. Now, there are definitely transferable skills between engines. Once you know how to make a game and you understand the workflow, you can take that with you anywhere. But I know the inside of Unity and a lot of its tools like I know the back of my hand. I have been working really hard to improve as a C-sharp developer. I have many miles to go, but I am improving pretty quickly. I am intimately familiar with a lot of Unity's packages, which are kind of like engine add-ons for lack of a better way of describing them. And on top of that, if I switched engines, I would lose all of these custom utilities and coding architecture solutions that I have developed that I can use and reuse between different Unity projects. Learning how to use Unreal would not take me a long time, but losing all of the custom things that I have built that work specifically for C Sharp and Unity, losing all of that would set me back months, if not longer. Now, I don't really believe that being super rigid is a great way to hit your goals. I think there does need to be a little bit of flexibility built into your plan to hit your goals so that you are able to pivot when you need. But right now, I would need a really damn good reason to switch game engines. Both Unity and Unreal are only getting better with time. And until the day comes where there is a project that I want to create in Unity that the engine can't handle, I won't be switching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I would love to know why you prefer one engine over the other. And if you want to support us so that my wife and I can continue producing content like this, then consider supporting us on Patreon like all of these awesome people. I want to give a very special thank you to our Hall of Fame patrons, Jakob Yandok, Sandra Kessler, Darren Preen, Throbbing Wind, Fontaine Wait, and Couch, as well as our early access patrons, Zyoma, Ken Wait, and Mason Crow. If you choose to support us on Patreon, you can get early access to all our YouTube videos, monthly alpha builds, and more.